Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. I've got a six by eight layout scheduled here for Shrewsbury, but as you can see, I have taken my flip book apart because I've realized I don't want this. I just want one photo, really this one probably, so I can talk about, yes, you know, there's a castle in Shrewsbury, but I didn't remember to include anywhere for me just to like journal about the start of my day and why I was choosing to stop in Shrewsbury or any of that. I just jump right into the stuff. This was the last layout I did. This is the opening page. I left no spot for that. I don't know what I was thinking when I planned this out. So I'm going to need to change it. I think what I'm going to do is try to figure out a way how to get just a three by eight page protector in there. What I will probably do is take a full six by eight flip book specific page protector because these are not the same as the kind you can just put into a simple story six by eight binder they have to be the flip book style they have the extra gutter here so i think i'm just going to take one of these that i have that's a six by eight cut it down use my fuse to seal the edge and make it into a three by eight that way i can have you know this on one side and still use it but then on the opposite side I will have something for journaling or either or and then figure out how to adjust the pictures that were supposed to be on the other side of this so this is part of what happens when I lay out an album and I have ideas at the beginning it doesn't end up always the way I think it will and here I am at the beginning and I've already changed my mind about this so I'm going to get to work on it right now all right I have taken out my flip book page protectors that are just a six by eight. So I have those up the ready. And I don't really feel bad about having to cut one down and then DIY it into what I want. I really have no other choice because they don't make these in a three by eight. So simple stories, people, if you're listening for flip books, please make some other page styles. <laughs> so they're not all six by eight. So you can put an insert in there, but they still have the gutter that's needed. That would be awesome. I do have my fuse tool heating up so that it's ready when I need it to transform this. So this picture I actually think is going to get chucked. I don't think I'll end up using it anywhere, but this one I'm going to keep for the one side. And then I have to pick out either two three by four cards for the other side or a full three by eight to do my journaling. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. All right, I've taken this out of the other page protector and I figured since I have to wait to let my fuse tool heat up anyway, I might as well go about trying to pick out some cards that are gonna go in there. So I figured I'm going to start with three by eights first in the event that I want a full three by eight. Maybe there's one in here where I can just put this on it and make it part of the design where it isn't all covered in a saying or journaling like this one. I probably wouldn't do it for this because then it covers up the lines and looks weird. But I have a lot of these, so there might be something in here that will work for this photo. I found a couple of options here that will work for me to place a photo on it and then still have room to journal a little bit, maybe embellish, but there's lots of blank space here, which is perfect. I'm a little disappointed that they're all black and white. There was nothing in any of the colors that worked that would match with this. Not that it has to match perfectly, but I'd like it if it went somewhat with what's next to it so I decided maybe black and white is the way to go and then I can still embellish in blue or red or whatever I want but if you look at all of these they all have adequate room where I could place this and actually this I could cover up where it says the details just do that and I wouldn't really have to do anything else here there's a lot of space so I'd have to embellish in there same here so I'm thinking it might be this one but I really need to decide on that and then pick out embellishments. If I do embellishments first, that may help me determine which card is going to work best. So maybe I'll dive into that stuff now. I remembered that when I finished my stuff from Wales, I kept a sticker sheet. Here's what I have. And... It's castles and dragons and things of that nature. So I think I'm going to try to use something on here. And there are several things with red. So this has it. It also has some purple, but this has red. The crown does. There's just a, a plain red star. So I'm wondering if I can incorporate something from here with this to make the color scheme work, but make it still say castle. I have decided to go with this card, but... I noticed it says documented by 
down there? Well, of course, that would be me. I don't really need it to say that. I'd rather almost have the details show them and then cover this up, maybe like so. And I think I'll just say Shrewsbury Castle or something. But down here, I can do washi. I haven't picked that out yet, but I can do that. And I think I'm going to use this sticker right here that just shows the crown. And I can put that right here in kind of this empty space. And it'll bring in just a hint of that red, but it also gives me a nice pop of yellow. And I like the idea of that. So unless I find something that I feel is so much better than this, I'm going to go with the crown. I have all of this adhered, so the photo is on there and the crown, which I love. And given that the construction of this was done at the Order of William the Conqueror, I figure the crown is, is pretty accurate. So I'm going to keep that. And then I grabbed out two washies. This one I grabbed just because it's just plain red, no pattern or anything. And it's narrow, which is what I need. However, it's kind of boring. This one I like because I like the pattern on it, but it's obviously too wide, but I could tear off a strip and then cut it in half so that the width of it wasn't quite so bad. So I may do that. I may just try it and see what I think. So I did tear a piece off and cut it down the middle, but then I saw if I just pulled a regular piece off and didn't run it all the way across like I thought I was going to and just went like this about three quarters of the way across. I actually kind of like how thick the washi is. So I think I'm going to do that instead and just go like that. And it leaves very little white at the bottom, but that's okay. Let's see how, what I think of it. What if it's sitting next to this? Ooh, I like it because these reds are far over on the other side. That helps it, helps bring it out on the right side, I think. Yeah, I like it. You know what? I think I'm going to go with that. Maybe put a staple in there too, just to help keep this down. Not that it would probably pull up, but just to help it and a little visual interest. So in looking at this, I was thinking first that I would just color that in. But then I thought, I have so many things that are geotags. Acrylics, puffy stickers, regular stickers, die cuts. Like I could just cover that up or, or, or you know, find a way to make that work over this. And I pulled these out first, but... I actually had these in there and look at that is kind of the perfect color there. I think I want to use that and I am trying to make an effort to keep this relatively flat just because I have a finite space to work with in a flip book and I don't want it to get too bulky but I mean these colors are perfect. Look how closely they match the crown so I think I have to do it and I think this one's probably too big. So if I do this one, oh, and you'll just be able to see the little hole in the middle there of the black if I place it correctly like that. I love that. I love that it brings in the color. So I think I am going to add that on there. I have once again <laughs> changed my mind with what I'm doing here. So I have this done and I'm very happy with that. On the other side, I thought I was going to try to work in some photos from the next layout that I had figuring out you know how am I going to fit those in there but I've changed my mind I had this and it was cut already and meant to go into this which I'm sticking somewhere in the album if you watch my prep video for this you saw this already but this is meant to go somewhere in the album it's just little extra stuff that I picked up that didn't really fit anywhere else and I had this in there and it's a map of the town and now I'm thinking I'm going to use it on the other side of this instead and just put a little bit of background paper behind it or something. Because when I look at this, here's the train station where I came into town. Here's the castle, which I saw. And then here's Laura's Tower, which is actually what you're seeing here. I did go to the library. I did go to St. Mary's. And so a lot of what I did, and I went to the shopping center. So a lot of what I did is right here. The only thing that isn't on here, sadly, really is the Abbey, which is where it says Riverside Walk. The Abbey is you go across there and the Abbey's over here. But pretty much everything on here I saw. So I definitely want to use this. Rather than adding another piece of paper on top of this, since I've already added an acrylic, I want to keep that bulk down. So I think I'm just going to add this right on the back like so. 
Now, the only problem is, is a little bit of this shows at the bottom. I'm fine with that, but that staple, since I didn't know that I was going to use the back of this, now I've got the back of the staple showing. It doesn't bother me all that much, and it doesn't look horrible or anything, but I'd like to try to cover it up or use it in some way if I can. So while this takes up you know, most of it, I could add a little embellishment over here or at the top if I wanted, and then possibly overlap something down here to cover up this, which I don't need, and then maybe that staple. As you can see, I pulled out a bunch of arrows here because I decided to use some on this side. I did one up top to show my direction of walking sort of down from the train station this direction. And then I included one on top of the washer, moving the eye to the next page of things they will see. I was actually able to pry up the washi a little bit and tuck just a hair of the map underneath there, which I'm happy with. And I'm actually going to not cover this up. I'm going to leave it as it is and be okay with it. So really all I have left to do is put this in my homemade page protector. So actually this really is done. So next time you see it in the flip through, it'll be in the protector and it'll just be part of the album. Thanks for watching.